You can forget about going to the pharmacy to relieve those nagging aches and pains because you may have the recipe for relief right in your kitchen. Here with some natural remedies, Francis Largeman Roth, Senior Food and Nutrition Editor of Health Magazine. Great to have you with us as always, Francis. Thanks so much. And this segment is really interesting to me because some of this stuff is for those normal everyday aches and pains, right. but some of it is also even more serious conditions may be useful. And I want to begin with the rosemary. Well, rosemary has therapeutic oils, so you can actually make a muscle rub and hmm. rub it into sore muscles. Just sea salt, the chopped rosemary, and some rosemary oil, and just rub it on, shower it off, and it really is great for after a workout or anytime you're sore. What is it about rosemary that's helping aid your muscles? Well, it has anti-inflammatories, so it actually, the, the oil seep into your skin and just help to relieve those sore muscles. If you were to eat it instead of scrub it on your body, is it gonna have a similar impact? No, but it actually has other properties, so you can use it in a marinade and it will actually help to cut down on the carcinogenic agents that form when you grill food. Hmm, grill very meats. interesting. Yeah. So that's why sometimes and it smells people- great. It does, I love the smell of rosemary, so that's why sometimes maybe people put rosemary on grilled food. Exactly. Yeah. Ginger is another thing that can be very useful, um, in particular maybe for your stomach. Yes, absolutely. So it actually neutralizes the stomach acids and gas that can form when you have stomach cramps. So it actually works just as well as ibuprofen studies show. Hmm. Great for nausea as well, which I've been using a lot because I'm expecting. <laughs> and, Congratulations, uh, by the you. way. And so uh, what, actually what's recommended is to drink either flat ginger ale or ginger beer. Okay. And that works really, really well. It actually works as well as over-the-counter motion sickness meds. Very interesting. So you don't necessarily want to eat the ginger with a bunch of other things that are already going to upset your stomach, like right. garlic and onions and things like exactly. that. Exactly. Stick to just the ginger. Candy ginger is also really good. Oh, good to know. Cilantro. I don't know if we have enough cilantro here this I, morning. I'm not sure, but you know, you always have to pick it up to make sure that it's cilantro and not parsley, uh. and this is definitely cilantro. So this is great for reducing swelling. It's also a wonderful anti-inflammatory, and what we made here is just a little concoction with aloe vera gel and chopped cilantro. So say you're out running, you sprain your ankle, you have a little bit of swelling, rub this on, leave it on for 30 minutes, and it actually really does help bring the swelling down. Really? So it's going to bring the swelling down. Any other things you could do with it, like if you eat it, you consume it? Yeah, well, you can make a marinade with this as well, and it will actually work as an antibacterial and cut down on salmonella and other bacteria like that. I love it. Honey, great something for that season. honey is always a go great for grilling season. Yeah. Another great for grilling season. Honey is something I always have as a go-to when I'm cold or cough or whatever. Well, you're you're right to do that because it actually does help to thin the mucus in your throat. It also helps as a barrier. So a couple of teaspoons before bed. You know, if you're waking up with a hacking cough, which I know a lot of people still have end of winter colds right now. Mm -hmm. So it's perfect for that. It also helps to heal cuts and scrapes. Oh, so you could actually apply it apply to it your skin. Mm -hmm. Okay, and. and and what's, I mean, you want to put something that's, uh, that, that's antibacterial on there as well, or is this something you could use on its own? You could use it on its own. Yeah, just make sure that you don't put like a, a sticky Angora sweater <laughs> on on top. Good to know. Okay, lastly, we have nutmeg. Yeah, this is something that I wish I knew about about a year ago because you can use nutmeg oil to relieve tooth pain. So you hmm. can actually even use it on infants. Really? So it you would rub it smelling. on your tooth? You rub it on the gums anywhere that you have swelling and it actually helps to bring the pain the pain and the swelling down. And then you can also use it to zap zits. So you take the uh, <laughs> take the ground nutmeg, mix it with whole milk. Dab it on your dab face. It on. Then have a great night ahead. Walk around the house. I'm sure you'll get a lot of interesting looks from your friends yeah, and family. Yeah, you may want to rinse it off <laughs> before you go out on your hot day. <laughs> Francis Larger Marat, thank you so much. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you. And for more tips on how to ease your aches and pains, go to our partner in health coverage, WebMD.com, and search for natural pain relief.